everyone, welcome to my tiny house. Let me show you around. This is the bedroom area. Lots of storage under here. There's a hydraulic lift that lifts the mattress up and there's a lot more storage underneath the bed. There's three drawers on each side of this. This is a tuft and needle mattress with a cover. Got a lift desk here and lots of storage shelving. There are bins that fit up here included. And then this curtain here for privacy. Moving on to this living room area. Love seat here. And then here I have a little electric fireplace, some storage TV that comes with the house and more storage up here. All right, and then I have the closet. It's two doors here, two bars on this side, shoe storage, lots of bins. This side has one bar, a pull out, and again, more bins. Then I have a dining table here, two chairs. This actually opens and then swivels around to make a double, the table double the size. And it's great for when you have projects or you have extra people visiting. And then another storage cabinet here for jewelry. Lights up whenever you open it. Lots of space in here, and it also has a lock on it. Oh yeah, and there's also a lock box under the bed in the wall. So, hooks here and up way up here. There's a really high ceiling. This helps to keep, keep bags and things out of the way. Right, this air conditioner, um, um, it's kind of an eyesore in here right now. It's a Frigidaire, it's a smart AC, so it's, what's really cool about it is you can control it from your phone. You can see what temperature it is in the house and kind of regulate it as you want to. Um, the other cool thing about this is I have a um, loud traffic. If you could edit that out, that'd be great. The other cool thing is there's a panel here that is kind of a radiating heat. It's a low power radiating heat connected to a thermostat so that you can set it and forget about it. It really cuts the chill when it's cold. And that paired with the um, fireplace really helps warm it up. Microwave here, lots of storage in the kitchen. This is a fully functioning kitchen. There's four burners, a full oven, um, microwave, comes with dishes, pots, these canisters, there's more of those packed away. Um, lots of electrical mess there just for now. There's a hood, some wine bottle storage. There's actually a pull out here that I had a stand mixer on. And then full size refrigerator. So this is a full size, nice size freezer. Um, and then on the door here, this is the door that leads to the bathroom. I have these custom um, food storage and also shelves for spice rack on top. And so this really serves as my pantry basically. Then I have these two of these pullouts that I use for canned goods, things like that. Storage space up here and up here, these baskets. This farmhouse sink, more storage there. Copper finish on a lot of the appliances and the doors and things like that. Um, and then I have this dishwasher. It's a smaller size, but I really wanted to have a dishwasher. So I was able to fit this in, I really love it. Um, Shelving here, little bars for storage. 
paper towels, anything to keep things off of the cabinet to make it look like there's a lot more space. Knife, knife rack there. Okay, and then into the bathroom. Sorry, I don't have lights in here right now because the electricity is not on, but I have a nature's head composting toilet. Easily could be switched out for a regular toilet if you have um, the plumbing for that. It's nice to have the option to do either way. No matter where you're at, you'll have, you'll, you're covered. Um, here's the bathroom. The linens and things come. Baskets come with it. The panel, electrical panel, is under this piece of art here. There's another hook. And then the shower is brand new. Love the shower. Customized to fit this space. Before this, I had a, um, you know, one of those metal galvanized round tubs. Um, I didn't like how the water sat in the bottom of it. So we went ahead and switched it out for this utility tub and it's worked great. All right, and then the smart home things, there's there's hue lights throughout the house. These are the color hue lights, um, very low energy. This is a smart fan, so everything is voice control. The fan, the AC, um, anything that is plugged into the smart outlets is voice control. Also comes with an Alexa that's up here for right now. And then the other cool thing is I have a modem that takes a SIM card. So, and then it connects to the router. So right now this is just a temporary setup that you can see, but um, it's really nice to have a SIM code, I mean a SIM card modem um, when you're kind of moving around or maybe you're out in a rural, rural area where you can't get good internet. Um, this is just, it works way better than a hotspot and it's a low cost solution for internet and helps control all of the smart home features. And then the last thing is there's a, um, needs to be edited out. Keypad on the door. Then my dad built me these amazing, this amazing spiral ladder. Into the loft. So the loft is pretty big. It's 10 feet long and then it's the full width, eight, eight feet um, wide. This is a twin size bed, just so you have an idea of how much space is left up here. Um, you could easily fit a bigger bed if you wanted or use this for storage. There's a desk up here on the rail, little window and a curtain. And some rails to hold on to to get back down. couple more details about the outside. There is hot and cold water that come out here. The hot water tank is in the kitchen and it's electric. And there's also power here. So this is great because you can do a washer and dry dryer in a shed or outdoor kitchen or anything like that. And then the other thing that I really like is the stove inside is powered by propane. So a standard propane tank lasts about um, two to three months for me and um, and only has to be switched out every now and then. I, I really use it a lot. I cook pretty often. I cook every day. So um, it's a, it's pretty inexpensive to run it.